right, let's see how you do with some spark. Keep light on your feet, kid, all right? Come on now, let's go! Nice, time that block. Move the head, kid, come on! Get a good snap in those shoulders. That's it, that's it, sharp, kid. You gotta slip those, kid. Come on now. Hey, 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 let's go! You gotta slip those punches, kid. Come on, nice defense there. You wanna win in that ring? Work harder. Pick up the pace. Oh, hands up, hands up! Oh, that's not what we talked about. You gotta watch those coming in. Nice work, kid. Atta boy! Good defense, kid. Harder, harder! Pick it up. 
want to see you punch hard, fast. That's it. That's it. Get after him. Let's go. Work it out. Work. It. Hi everybody, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to Vegas, where they do it bigger and better than any other city when it comes to the big time fights. We're at the Thomas and Mack Center with a much anticipated world championship on the line tonight. 12 rounds, light heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Joe Calzaghi's entrance here. What a ring walk. Just brimming with confidence, ready for the task at hand. Howell's making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. Okay, guys, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's touch blow. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. Calzaghi's first opportunity to claim a crown. He's been thinking about this, visualizing this, playing this in his head for many years since he was a kid. He does road work. He thinks about it all the time. Now it's time to go act on it. Howell swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. If you are the fighter with the lower stamina, and you know it, going up against a guy who can really go the distance, how do you go after it right from the gate? Well, I don't know that you go after it right from the gate because then you're basically telling your opponent, I have no chance. I'm desperate. I think you go out there looking like you're ready to go the distance. Maybe he'll start to slow things down a little bit and worry about the late rounds himself. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. He scored well after being hit himself. Calzaghi's defense, is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. His 
eye is cut. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Calzaghe. You got this one, baby. You got this one all day, all day. Able to show you his blocking ability. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. If that keeps up, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Joe Calzaghe. And that does it for this round. Joe Calzaghe's defensive flaws in that last round were very, very costly. He's not doing a good enough job of simply protecting himself. No, I'm not sure that he knows how. This is yours, you hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points like that and keep throwing punches. Do not fight his fight. Jab and move, stick and move. Here we go. Round two is underway. That's a stinging right hand by Joe Calzaghe. Scored well up top. Best combination in the game. Jab with the straight. Come on, get focus. Howells on the bad end of a big hook upstairs. Lands flush with the two-punch combo by Howell. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Joe Calzaghe. <laughs> Halfway through round number two. That's a solid right hand by Calzaghe. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Baby. Come on, champ. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. Come on, kid. Lands that hook to the midsection. He stays committed to the body. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Owls showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. A stinging uppercut by Joe Calzaghe. What an impact that left hand just made by Howell. Clean shot with the right. Howell's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Round comes to an end, and that's one of those rounds, Teddy, that just takes on a certain style, a certain characteristic, and that was a busy one. Yeah, it was a busy one. Look, Joe, you don't have to look for these guys. They're right there in front of you. Why do you think that is? Why do you think sometimes you just get those rounds where it all happens? Because of styles. You know, styles make fights. In this case, you see proof of that right there. Both guys that are aggressive, both guys that are very confident. is underway you can see he's trying to score up top but off the mark there commits to the overhand right and it serves him well Teddy I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long he's laying his power punches early yeah he wants to make it a quick night's nice work Great shots, he comes back with a right hand. Comes across with a hook up top. Good work defensively by Calzaghe. Plus, he landed that counter punch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully.
scores well to the head with the right hand. Rocked by a huge hook to the head. Nice. Once again to the head. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Little head hunting with the left. Wow, what an uppercut. Good job with another left hand. Crashes home with the uppercut. Get away from us, champ. Come on now. This is it. You gotta make a fight right now. Our first chance to take a look at Teddy's scorecard here is round number four is underway. Calzaghi's in control so far, two rounds to one. Still anybody's fight. I think he's been the busier guy. Oh, that uppercut got him battling. Blocks the headshot. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. No, in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you could go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Joe Calzaghi. Right back to the midsection. Good block there by Howell. Now, Zaggy's almost got like a viper quality to it, doesn't he? He just gets in there, he attacks real quick, comes in, strikes before you know what hit you. Yeah, he's very quick, and that is his style. He likes to get in, do his damage, and get out. Right now, his opponent can't match him with that physical ability. What he's got to do is try to time him on the way in. a fighter coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon howell's doing well here with that two punch combination and just grabbing on to his opponent good scoring shot it was a straight right how about a return to sender with the left hand comes right back with a shot of his own not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Good solid right hand by Kelzaki. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Keep that head moving. Unable to score with the hook. Three minutes gone by in this round. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Joe Calzaghi's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady, the same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. underway another round in a fight that's been very entertaining but I wouldn't want to be a judge this is one of those fights that could go either way a solid uppercut by Joe Calzaghi Teddy there are opportunities that are here for him aren't there yeah counter punch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little 
Well put together combination by Calzaghe. Calzaghe scoring with that right hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Zaggy's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. That worked out really well. Throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Right to the belt line. Nice. Good solid one-two combo by Joe Calzaghe. Scored well with the left downstairs. Goes up top with the right hand. Calzaghe's now seeing his own blood, and it's coming from his mouth. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. Powell's failure to protect himself from that left hand it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Search your punch. Let's go, let's go. What are you waiting for? You want this fight? Then let's move out there. This guy's gonna win this fight if you don't take control, son. You got to take some control out there. The start of the sixth round. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Nice strike after catching one by Joe Calzaghe. Banking away those body shots. Oh, and he comes back with an uppercut there after getting hit. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Howell's got those earmuffs on, and he's got his hands tight against his body. But, Teddy, still, some things are getting through. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like driving a car, Joe. You know, and the, the weather's a little bad, and you say, I, I want to be safe here. I'm going to stop the car. You don't stop and park the car in the middle of the highway. The cars are coming. I mean, he stopped right there in the middle of the highway. Cars are coming. You know, pull off somewhere. You know, get the heck out of there. Find the right parking spot. left by Howell. Very accurate two-punch combo by Calzaghe. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Good return fire that time. Zaggy's done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Another strong round of accurate precision punching from him. Well, it's easy to be accurate when your opponent walks out there and says, please hit me. I mean, he's like putting a sign on himself. Here's the red target. Don't let him breathe. He's hurt. Get him this round. Relax, relax. You're doing great. Keep the pressure on him. Keep on, keep on. 
Six rounds in the books, six to go. Calzaghi's showing you a little defensive skill there. I don't move away from that punch. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Joe Calzaghi. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Able to cover up that gut. He gets hit, but he gives it right back. Joe Calzaghi. Oh, Teddy, this has got to drive his trainer crazy because he's leaving himself wide open with these sweeping shots. Well, you talk about that old saying, leaving the barn door open, and the horses are going to go out. Well, guess what? The punches, sooner or later, they're going to come in. Good-looking uppercut that time. And he returns on that exchange. You got this one. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And he's holding a well-placed left hand up top. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. That's Good exchange, he fires back. To the head he goes with a left hand. Calzaghi's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Joe Calzaghi. Calzaghi's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. And round seven comes to an end. Jump on in this round, all right? Nice work. Nice work. Doing well. I'm doing one. Yeah. You are losing this fight. I need you to take some chances now. You gotta take some chances with this guy, all right? You got to. You have to take a risk. Now listen, champ. You need to move. As we start round number eight, Calzaghi's up on Teddy's scorecard. I think that's clear to see, Teddy, but it's also clear to see that it has not been the easiest of nights for him. No, and it's clear to see we're coming up to a fork of the road. It could go either way. We're going to find out. Unable to connect by Howard. He takes a shot, and it's Joe Calzaghi's hurt from that. Howell's in a much better place now. This is a good comeback. I wonder if he can come all the way back in this fight. Wow, impactful, short, and yet another big shot comes in. He was standing up to it, but now he goes down for the first time. One, two, three. Down he goes, but he's going to continue on, beating the count. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Keep that head moving, baby. Come on, champ. Calzaghi's combination punching is working well here. See him scoring well with the right. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. Oh, and now the real test. Can he get up after going down a second time? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Calzaghe's able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Nice block by Howard. Come to the end of the round. Howell's in position to pull this out. And you can see his corner man is telling him just that. Don't worry about the fact that it's a close fight. Go out there and win it here in these later stages. You need to move your head Side to side. Lean to the side. Move. Don't waste your punches out there. Be smart or you're going to tire yourself out. is here. Calzaghe's not in a good place as we start this round. He was knocked down in the last round, and you can just see. I mean, all it takes is a quick look at him to realize he's drained and he's battered. Hey, look. Hard charging with that right hand. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Joe Calzaghe's night could be over here. This could be the end. What guts he's showing here. I don't know that he's going to get the glory, but what's guts to keep fighting here when he's damaged like this? Well, actually, Joe, too much guts. That's why the old-time guys, the smart trainers, used to say, you have to have a little fear in there to know when you're in a bad place, to know when to grab, when to get out of there. Boxing 101, jab, followed by the straight. Joe Calzaghe's been having great success with these combinations, Teddy. Well, there's a reason for it. He's using his jab to start it. And then he's letting the punches go, letting the hands follow. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Joe Calzaghe. Did you see that? Oh, that's a big shot. Joe Calzaghe's hurt. He's down and hurt. Can he beat the count? Right now, he's thinking about another line of employment. One, two, three. The fight is over. Howells in prime form. Power surge here. Knockout winner. Joe Calzaghe is unable to take advantage of the golden opportunity and can't claim the title here tonight. And those opportunities, not too many of them come along. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. That does it ringside. We'll see you soon.